New Caledonia, a French territory in the South Pacific, comprising dozens of islands. It is best known for its palm-lined beaches and life-rich lagoon, which at 24,000 square kilometers is among the world's largest. Yet what many who investigate and visit the islands are unaware of is the enigmatic mystery of the tumulus. Found particularly upon the Isle of Pines, with over 400 of the structures found upon this one small island. Once argued as merely natural formations via volcanic activity, this hypothesis, however, has since been disproven, and their artificial origins have been confirmed. Yet this is not the most peculiar fact to surface surrounding these mounds. Intriguingly, it is a very little, if at all, photograph set of artifacts. A series of small, man-made cement cylinders, each measuring around 40 to 100 inches in height and between 40 and 75 inches in diameter. They are the oldest cement artifacts officially discovered anywhere on Earth. Made from a very hard, homogeneous lime mortar, containing bits of seashell, which garnered carbon dates of around 10,000 BC, putting their earliest official creation at around 3,000 years, before man was even supposed to have reached the Pacific from Indonesia. It is no surprise, then, that many now try to claim that the cylinders never existed, and instead, a mistake was made in regard to the actual basis of the tumuli, which have since been also revealed to have once been created using ancient concrete. However, this claim of convolution does not explain how we have many independent references to the cylinders found in a number of books and other articles of media dating to and just after their initial discovery. Also, the measurement of scale, which is clearly far too small to be attributed to the measuring of the mound's inner chambers. Furthermore, Due to the controversy and impossibility to explain them using the already established chronology in regard to the migration of man, we have motive for many individuals to simply disappear the artifacts and in their place create a conspiracy to attempt to discredit their existence in the first place. Were these concrete cylinders buried in the tumuli for some reason? We still do not truly understand the function of these mounds, yet could they have protected these artifacts for untold millennia? Perhaps also from a great flood? We find such possibilities highly compelling.